Many people believe that manure is nothing more than a waste product on the farm. The reality is, manure is an incredibly valuable commodity, far too important to simply be dumped on the ground. Manure is precisely applied at predetermined rates. This ensures the many nutrients in manure are fully incorporated into the soil, staying in place to provide for crop uptake and growth. Wasting or losing valuable manure is like losing money for farmers. This video is an overview of how a nutrient management plan is carried out in the province of Manitoba. We will also look at the latest techniques and technologies that are being used. Although it doesn't represent everyone in the industry, these principles, ideas and methods are extremely common and are quickly becoming standard practice. I'm Scott Dick, professional agrologist with AgriGold Consulting. We produce about 25% of the pork manure management plans that are filed with Manitoba Conservation on an annual basis. Our business is built on two pillars. The first one being to maximize the agronomic value of the manure nutrients that we are applying on the land. Manure is a commodity and it has value, just like fertilizer has value. Many of the sites that we work with actually pay for the nutrients that they receive. The second pillar of our business is to ensure that our sites are environmentally sustainable in the long term. We do this by soil sampling, manure sampling, understanding the soil's agricultural capability when we put our nutrient management plan together. Manure application has dramatically changed in the last 30 to 40 years. This is driven by three main reasons. First of all, an increased awareness of environmental protection through education and regulation. Second of all, the shift away from every producer owning their own manure application equipment to custom application companies. And third, driving to see the highest value for those nutrients that are spread on the land. Some of the benefits and advancements from these fundamental changes are a shift away from winter applications, advancements in equipment, the introduction of a drag hose technology, advancements in precision agriculture, such as the use of auto steer technology, mapping systems in the tractor, and remote pump management systems. And lastly, lab testing of the soil nutrient status and manure. There are several steps we need to take before applying manure to a field. We first need to develop a manure management plan and file that with Manitoba Conservation in July for the following application season. Next, we will talk to the producer who will be receiving the manure nutrients and understand which fields and rotation of crops we want to use. Once the field is harvested, we go out and soil sample the field. We do this by taking up to 15 cores throughout the field to a depth of 24 inches. This soil is then sent to the lab for analysis. Once we receive the results back from the lab of that soil, we need to file it with Manitoba Conservation. We need to take several considerations when coming up with the recommended rate of application. We need to understand what is on the soil test report, so the nutrient status of the field, as well as what does the crop that they want to grow require for growth. Taking those two factors into consideration, as well as the nutrient release rate of the manure, gives us an understanding of what that recommended rate is. That recommended rate is then put onto a work order that is given to the applicator, along with various other pieces of information the applicator needs to know to apply on that field. The majority of manure applications on annual land use an advanced system of the airway, coulter, or cultivator system which allows for greater accuracy when applying the nutrients while still minimizing the losses of nutrients. The cultivator method uses a shovel that penetrates into the soil, opening up a furrow and mixing the dirt. The liquid is then discharged below the soil surface 
right behind that shovel. And then dirt is allowed to fall back on that furrow. The Coulter method uses a large round disc which penetrates into the soil, creating an opening in the soil. Manure is then deposited onto that soil and allowed to run into that opening, allowing for greater penetration of the liquid and nutrients into the soil. The airway method uses large tines that penetrate into the soil. As they go into the soil, they break up the soil to a depth of about six inches. These holes in the soil allow the liquid to penetrate deep into the soil. The technology on all three of these systems allow us to greatly increase the accuracy and precision in how we are placing the nutrients down. There are slight variations in all of these methods used based on the applicator's preference in setting up their implement. Most of these applications are followed up by another tillage pass. This is either done by another cultivator or a heavy harrow. We do this to further incorporate the nutrients into the soil and prepare the seedbed for the following crop. This additional tillage pass greatly minimizes the opportunity for snowmelt runoff to remove nutrients from the land. In over 90% of the manure applications that we do, we use a drag hose system. The fundamentals of the drag hose system is that we place a main pump back at the manure storage and then lay a soft, flexible hose out to the field. This hose is then connected onto our cultivator, airway, or coulter implement behind the tractor and dragged back and forth in the field to apply the nutrients onto the land. There are many advantages of using a drag hose system versus the traditional manure tanker wagon. The drag hose system is much more efficient at moving the manure out into the field and applying it because most people don't even realize that a manure application is occurring, they just see it as another tillage pass occurring in the field. Farming today is very dependent on technology. These technologies allow us to apply nutrients in a much more precise, accurate, and environmentally sustainable way. The first and most fundamental piece of equipment is the flow meter. This instrument is crucial in determining what rate of application they're putting down in the field. Some drag hose operators have implemented two flow meters in their drag line system. This allows the operator to monitor flow rates back at the manure storage as well as at the implement. If there is a discrepancy, the operator can then shut the pumps down and investigate. A second piece of technology used in the tractor is a GPS digital mapping system. This system allows the operator to see what speed they're driving, what rate they're putting down, how many gallons they've applied on the field, as well as what the boundary of the field is and where they need to lay their hose in the field. This mapping system creates a digital log of what has occurred in the field and can be reproduced in the office later. Another technology that we have implemented with some of our applicators is remote mapping management. This allows us from our office to remotely connect to that screen and to see what that screen has on it, seeing exactly what the operator is seeing as he applies. This allows us to assist them with any technical questions they have with the software, load new boundary files into their software for application, as well as track progress that they are making in the field. Another technology that has been widely adopted in the last 10 years is GPS auto steer systems. These systems drive the tractor and steer it down a straight line in the field, pass after pass. This allows the operator to concentrate on the implement, on the flow rate, and on doing a good job without having to worry about driving a straight line. One of the newest technologies that we are now seeing with drag hose operators is remote pump management. This is a system that gives the operator a full understanding of what is happening with his various pumps. It gives him the ability to speed up or slow those pumps down, understand flow rates, as well as stop the pumps at a moment's notice. Once an application is completed, the operator will write down the details of the application. 
such as how many gallons they applied on each field, what date they did, total number of gallons, and any comments that need to be conveyed back to the owner or the nutrient management planner. This information is key when we file a post-application report with Manitoba Conservation. Along with this, we will also get a digital data log from the mapping computer. This also confirms the number of acres covered and allows us to produce a map for the producer of what happened in the field. After every application, many of the details of the application need to be sent to Manitoba Conservation in a confirmation of spread report to close off or finalize the nutrient management plan. The manure application process of today strives for precision and efficiency and is very different than it was 30 or 40 years ago. Advancements in technology and the checks and balances built into today's manure management plans have transformed manure applications. Above all, Manitoba's pork producers want to ensure that the environment is protected while they use this valuable organic fertilizer to grow their crops.